Jared here, and I'm going to talk real quick about what I think as the difference between comfort eating and binge eating. This is sort of an opinion. There's no clear answer, but here's my two cents. If you like this video, please like it. It really helps with those magical YouTube algorithms to spread the word out there. So watch the video. If you like it at the end, give it a thumbs up. Okay, let's dive in. What's the difference between comfort eating and binge eating? I would say it's the severity, the intensity of everything. When you are binging, there's this real feeling of losing control. And it can be very disorienting, very terrifying. People will live in fear that the next time they go to a birthday party, they're going to binge way too much. They live in fear. They don't know when this next binge is right around the corner. It's like it's a demon lurking. So there's a lot of fear before. Oftentimes a binge during is more intense. There's just a lot more food, a lot more food, bloated, painful, chaos. Afterwards, there can be a lot more guilt, a lot more shame. Comfort eating, when we think about it, there, there can be a loss of control. There can be like maybe you're upset and you feel like a, drawn to food, um, like you, you, you got to go. But if you listen to the tone of voice, the comfort is like, oh, I really need that cookie. I need that cookie. Binge eating is like, can I have the cookie? Oh, I can't. I can't. It's just more intense. The same underlying factors are present, um, but comfort eating during, it's helping you soothe. It's helping you calm down. And by the way, that's the same with binging too. I know there's a lot of fear and a lot of shame afterwards, but in the moments of binging, it's usually like helping you disconnect. It's helping you numb. So, it, it, you know, so comfort eating is similar, but just less intense. And... Uh, and then after comfort eating, there can be guilt, but not as much guilt. Um, so I hope you see that how I think of the differences between binge eating and comfort eating is that binging is a lot more intense. And emotional eating, comfort eating, stress eating, it's the same thing, but just less intense. And um, I will say too, that these eating terms are, um, you know, they're subjective, okay? Someone can binge, they can feel a tremendous loss of control, they can feel horrible guilt, but only overeat like a few extra cookies, all right? So there's a lot of like overlap here, um, but there are definitely, um, you know, it's a spectrum, right? It's a spectrum. And so I would put a, mo a comfort eating and on this side of the spectrum and then kind of the binging and even binge eating disorder on, on the other side of the spectrum. Um, so. Those are my two cents. If you liked my two cents, give it a thumbs up. And um, and uh, yeah, so I'll end this video with my standard namaste. Have a good one. Okay, bye.